بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ دس فرام لیسن نمبر فائیو لاسٹ ٹائم وی کمپلیٹیڈ لیسن نمبر فور اینڈ وی آلسو ریڈ دا گرامر فار لیسن نمبر فائیو سو نو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دس لیسن نمبر فائیو وچ ان عربک از کارڈ ادرس الخامس سعید سیز آ کتاب و محمد ہاضا یا یاسر سو ان دا گرامر یو لرنٹ ڈیٹ کتاب از مضاف اینڈ محمد از مضاف الحی از دس بک آف محمد او یاسر ہاضا مین دس از دس بک آف محمد او یاسر یاسر ریپلائز لا نو ہاضا کتاب و حامد This is the book of Hamid. He replies, This is the book of Hamid. Then Said says, Aina kitabu Muhammad. Where is the book of Muhammad? Yasir, Huwa ala al maktabi hunak. It is on the table there. Said, Aina daftaru ammar. Where is the notebook of Ammar? Yasir Huwa ala maktab al-mudarris It is on the table of the teacher. Said Kalamu man haza ya Ali Whose pen is this, O Ali? Whose pen is this, O Ali? Ali ہاضا کلم المدرس دس از دا پین آف دا ٹیچر سعید سعید آئینا حقیبت المدرس ویئر از دا بیگ آف دا ٹیچر علی ہی یا تحت المکتب اٹ از انڈر دا ٹیبل تمرین ایکسرسائزز عجیب ان الصلت العطیہ آنسر دا فالوئنگ کوشچن سو نوٹ ریمبر ون تھنگ آل دا ایکسرسائزز آف دا بک آر یور ہوم ورک یو ول ڈو دیم اینڈ یو ول اپلوڈ دیم ٹو گوگل کلاس روم سو لاسٹ ٹائم یو سبمیٹیڈ یور ہوم ورک ان ہوم ورک نمبر ٹو آف دروس الوت المیا گوگل کلاس روم سو دس ٹائم یو ول سبمٹ دا ہوم ورک ان ہوم ورک نمبر تھری When you will go to homework number three, you may find some screenshots there, but ignore those things. Just you need to submit your work there. Whatever you study here, that is your homework. So, Aina Kitabu Muhammad, where is the book of Muhammad? You can say, Huwa Alam, Huwa Alal Maktab. It is on the table. In this way, you will answer these questions. عزف القلیمت الاولا الثانیہ میک دا فسٹ ورڈ مضاف ٹو دا سیکنڈ ورڈ سو ہیئر وی ہیو ٹو ورڈس فسٹ ورڈ از کتاب اینڈ سیکنڈ ورڈ از محمد کتاب مین آ بک محمد مین محمد سو ٹو میک اٹ مضاف یو ناؤ ڈیٹ ود مضاف وی کانٹ یوز تنوین سو یو نیڈ ٹو ریموو دس تنوین اینڈ یو ول یوز دما ہیئر اونلی And you know that Muzaf ilay is always Majroor. So instead of using Muhammadun, you will say Muhammadin. So it will become Kitabu. It will become Kitabu Muhammadin. So in this way you will make them. This will become Kalamu Hamidin. بیتو عباس غرفتو علی دفتر سعید اگین سیم تھنگ ایئر بٹ دس ٹائم مضاف علی ہیز ال سو وین وی ہیو ال وی کانٹ یوز تنوین سو وی ول یوز اونلی ون کسرا مکتب المدرسی مفتاح البیتی دکان التاجری بیت المحندسی اسم الولدی سو یو رائٹ دم ہیئر اینڈ آلسو پٹ دا لاسٹ واول وچ از ناؤن ایز اے راب also put the ilab of the ism ikra waktu ma dabta hi awakhil kalimat read and write with correct vocalization of the words or with correct endings of the word 
so here you will need to put the last vowel on each word which is also known as the irab of the word so here it is muzaf so you say babul madrasati himarur rajulis baitu hamidin in this way you will put them but in this we have harfijar also so this harfijar will make the muzaf majroor fi kitabillahi min baitil mudarrisi ikra read al quran kitabullahi the quran is the book of allah al qabatu baitullahi the kaaba is the house of allah muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wasallam rasulullah muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of allah so basically if you put the last vowel on each word it will be good for you and you will submit it to google classroom but this question is optional for you aina baitul mudar is where the house of the teacher who are baid it is far kharaj al mudar is min ghurfatil mudir the teacher went out from the room of the headmaster haza baitu hamidin wazalika baitu khalid this is the house of hamid and that is the house of khalid ibn ammar in talibun wa ibn yasir in tajirun son of ammar is a student and son of yasir is a merchant baitul mudarrisi baidun wa baitut tajiri qareebun house of the teacher is far and the house of the merchant is near haza miftahu as-sayyara this is the key of the car aina miftahu al-bayt where is the key of the house man anta ya walad who are you o oh boy anab nu abbasin so here you see alif becomes silent whenever there is a word before alif alif amzatul uh, wasal becomes silent anab nu abbas wabnu man huwa wabnu again alif becomes silent because there is a word before it whose son is he who wabnu khalidin he is the son of khalid aina masjidu rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so here masjid is muzaf and rasul is muzaf but at the same moment rasul is the muzaf of this word so where is the masjid of uh, messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam huwa fil madinatil munawwara it is in madinatul munawwara بنت حامد في المدرسة وبنت محمد في الجامعة. Daughter of Hamid is in the school and daughter of Muhammad is in the university. اسم المدرس سعيد واسم المهندس خالد. Name of the teacher is Saeed and the name of the engineer is Khalid. أمت طالب غني طاء الشمس حرف سو ألف لام بكم سالنت Ammut talibi ghaniyun Uncle of the student is rich Babul masjidi maftuhun wa babul madrasati mughlakun Door of the masjid is open and the door of the school is closed Khalu hamidin fakirun Maternal uncle of hamid is poor Sayyaratu abbasin fishari car of abbas is on the road ibn mananta whose son are you anabnul mudarris i am the son of the teacher ainal kalb where is the dog huwa tahta as-sayyara it is under the car next he is asking you to make sentences by fill in the blanks so you need to use any word here you can use any word for example here bait mean house mughlaq mean close so we need to say something which is close like babul baiti mughlaqun door of the house is close then sayara you see is muzafile which mean it is the possessor of something so siara i think siara is the possessor of key 
سیور سے آئینہ مفتہ حس سیارہ ویر از دا کی آف دا کار ویر از دا کی آف دا کار محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم رسول اللہ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is the messenger of Allah then third tabib is muzafale possessor so we need something which is possessed by the doctor like baytu tabibi baydun house of the doctor is far al quranu kitabullahi quran is the book of Allah in this way you will fill them and of course you will submit it to google classroom sahih tarkibat taliya correct the following structures so here uh, in all of them there is some grammatical mistake you need to find that mistake and you will correct it here so in the first one you see kalam is muzaf and talib is muzaf but we as you know with muzaf we can't use al so you need to remove this al from the kalam it will become kalam talibi then we have bab sayyara so here you know that muzafile is always majroor so you need kasra here instead of the mabab sayyarati again muzafile is always majroor so you will use kasra tain instead of the matain bintu hamidin in this way you will correct all these mistakes ikra waqtu ma dabti awakhir kalimat read and write with correct endings of the words so you know that in Arabic with every ism, with every noun we use Tanween, Dammatain, Muhammadun, Khalidun, Ustazun, Waladun Here you are going to learn that when we call them using the article Ya which is known as Harfan Nida we can't use Tanween so we will use Dhamma instead of Tanween Ya Muhammadu, Ya Ustazu, Ya Khalidu, Ya Waladu So here you need to put last vowel on each word Ya Ali Yu, Ya Abbasu Here we don't have Ya so Shaykhun Ya Shaykhu So in this way you will put Yasir is a There is no particle Ya here so you will say Yasirun It is a complete name So for the Ikra il misal il Ikra il misal al Ati summa kawin asilatan mislahu mushiran ila suri taliya. Read the following example, then make questions like it which point to the following picture. So if you want to say whose book is this, whose pen is this, then we use this format Kitabu, which is Muzaf, as you see the Mahir, and Man is Muzaf. In the previous exercise, I told you that Muzafile is always Majroor. But here we see Man does not have any Kasra. And why? Because it is Mabni. So Mabni words never change no matter what kind of situation is it. They always remain in their original form. So the word Man is Mabni. So it will remain Man no matter whether it is Marfu, Mansub or Majroor. So it will remain the same. Kitabu man haza, whose book is this? Kalamu man haza, whose pen is this? Kamisu man haza, whose shirt is this? In this way you will answer them. Then we have Hamzatul Wasal. So remember it's very simple. When Alif is at the beginning of the sentence, when Hamzatul Wasal is at the beginning of the sentence, we pronounce it. When it is not at the beginning of the sentence, it is silent. So here you see this alif, this alif, this alif will be silent, but this will be pronounced. Ismul waladi Muhammadun wasmul binti Zainab. Ismul mudarisi Hamid masmul mudir. Ibn Khalid in fil madrasati wa ibn Hamid in fil jamia. Ibn al mudarisi fil fasli aynab nul mudiri. So notice only the first. Hamzatul Wasal is pronounced. Rest of the Hamzatul Wasal are silent. Ikra Mayali Mara Mura Iyan Kawai the Nutki Hamzatul Wasal. Read what is below, keeping in mind the rules of pronunciation of Hamzatul Wasal. So, same thing. 
first alif will be pronounced less will be silent ibn muhammad in fil iraq wa ibn hamid in fil hind kharaj ibn tabibi min al bayt zahab ibn tajiri ila al suq ism al muhandisi faisal wa ism al tabibi masud masmur rajuli ibn man anta an ibn al wazir al kalimat al jadida these words are also your homework you need to write their meanings here sayaratul mudarris car of the teacher here sayara is muzaf and mudarris is muzaf ilahi so this is possessed and this is possessor so you learned about muzaf and muzaf ilahi in detail in this chapter i hope you enjoyed it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comments or you can ask me on my whatsapp as well so inshallah next time so once you submit your homework then we will continue the next lesson inshallah ma salama